What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob doing the 1792 Sweet Wheat. This one's bottled at 45.6%. So you can assume by the ABV that they chose for this one that it's not chill filtered. 45.6% is the exact point in which the chemical reaction supposedly as soon as they go below 45.6%, the oils start to congeal in colder temperatures, which is why they chill filter to begin with, because if people are keeping their whiskey in the fridge or they're keeping it in cold places, they don't want it to get all cloudy. A lot of bourbons don't do that, of course. Uh, and a lot of Scotch whiskeys are not chill filtering either. But that was a practice done early on in the whiskey days because they didn't want whiskey to look cloudy. They wanted it to look clear and smooth. Uh, people associated that cloudiness with harsh whiskey things have changed obviously and we're looking for unchill filter no added color all these fun things so that's what this is as far as i know the mash bill is not disclosed but we know that they have wheat inside because it says it right on the label there I'm gonna nose it taste it and give it a mark yeah so you do pick up that wheat kind of sensation that you would in a bourbon that is weeded uh, of course a lot of caramels here but the wheat provides this like mango kind of note that I've never really got from a bourbon before not even like your Wellers or your Pappies or anything like that will give that note this is a very unique maybe like a hubba bubba kind of gum or even a juicy fruit. It's kind of like fruity. Yeah, juicy fruit for sure. Cantaloupe. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of weird fruit notes that I don't get out of bourbons on this one here. Nice sweetness to it. Yeah, cantaloupe, all types of melon, maybe honeydew. Like I said, mango earlier and like banana as well. So it's a tropical fruit bomb, in my opinion, which is rare for a bourbon, in my opinion. On the palate. Nice sweetness. You get a little bit of the oak, a little bit more banana now on the palate. A little bit less of those uh, mangoes and melons on the palate, but they are on the nose. A little bit on the finish, you get that like juicy fruit kind of flavor. Okay, one more time here. Yeah, so second sip, definitely more juicy fruit now. Banana for sure. A little bit of fresh oak in there, or oak char anyway. Nice sweetness, not too sweet by any means. Probably would have been better at a higher ABV, of course, uh, as most bourbon drinkers would agree. But it's not a horrible ABV for this whiskey. Yeah, nice fruitiness, nice tropical fruits, especially the banana, a little bit of melon, that juicy fruit kind of flavor from the juicy fruit gum, if you've ever had that. Definitely there. Um, I'm used to getting cherries from a weeder. I'm not getting cherries on this one. <clears throat> Again, I'm just guessing what the mash bill would be, probably low teens when it comes to the wheat, but I could be wrong because... I've never experienced that before. So maybe it's a high wheat profile. I don't know. Um, it could be. And now that I think about it, most of the weeders that I have had have a lower uh, wheat portion. So this could be high because I don't get these tropical notes that I'm getting on this. A little bit of like a grassy note right on that nose right there. Overall good stuff. 
I got this for a really good deal. I bought this uh, for $60 Canadian, which I think is very fair, all right? Uh, not a lot of whiskey in Canada for that price. Um, this is pretty good quality for that price as well. So I'm gonna give this one an 86. I think it's very good. I would definitely buy it again at $60. Um, obviously, like I said, my biggest criticism of it is the ABV choice. I think 50% is the ideal percent for bourbon. Um, so 100 proof. I think bourbon starts to lose its character, flavor, and all those things, obviously, south of 50%. Um, a lot of people would argue that they want it barrel proof as high as possible. I think there's a happy medium. I think a lot of companies would do well by bottling no less than 50. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Like I said, that's an 86. I enjoyed that. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Get the bell to get notifications for when I do release a video. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and you can support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.